Hi YouTube, it's Candace again. I wanted to let you guys know how my first day on my Phase 2 went. Um, but before I start, let me reverse a little bit and tell you how my last loading day ended. Um, this morning when I woke up, I had only gained about a one and a half pounds, so that was a total of about two and a half pounds for loading, which I thought was fairly low. My coach kind of thought was fairly low, but um, I felt okay. Like the the day was fine. I didn't feel hungry or anything like that, so I decided not to do another loading day just to go forward. Um, however, I can say old habit old habits are hard to quit cold turkey especially fat girl tendencies it's just one of those things you have to kind of work through because I did catch myself putting a few things in my mouth without even thinking about it not even being conscious that I did it it was just like oh hmm, let me have a little bit or let me take a little sip of that and it's just that easy that quick you can mess up a good thing so overall um day one went well I did have I took my drops this morning I um, had my apple, um, half of my apple for, 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 for breakfast, and then um, for lunch I had some celery, I mean some, did I have celery today? I think I had cucumber, why can't I remember what I had, because I bought both, so I believe I had cucumber um, slices, and some chicken breast, and my other half of apple, um, and I did uh, put some lettuce in that, so it was like a little salad. Um, with just a, so a squeeze of lemon juice on top of that. And then for dinner, I had some um, some tilapia with some asparagus. And, of course, I had strawberries with that. So, I mean, I and I had my Melba toast. I only had Melba toast one time because this morning I didn't have, this afternoon I didn't have any, so I had to go buy some. Um, but I can say that all day I was not hungry at all. I, like, there was not one moment where I was like, oh, I'm starving. But I can say that empty feeling that you have, um, you really have to be cautious to make sure that you recognize that that's empty and not hungry. Um, because when the evening gets on and it's like nighttime and your shows are coming on and your normal routine is to have your little snack and you can't do that. Um, mind you, like I said, I wasn't hungry. It was just the fact that my stomach was not the normal full that it is when it's about to go to sleep. And that is just a shame that I'm admitting that, but I tend to be a nice, I mean, that kind of helps me go to sleep. So it's, I thought it would be difficult, but the nightlife or the nightlight, it totally did what it was supposed to do. It wasn't, I like that it's so subtle and I don't feel like, oh my God, I gotta, I'm about to die if, if I don't go to sleep right now. Um, but, and then also when I wake up, it's fine too. So I will say that day one of phase two was a... It was a success with a few slip-ups. So it wasn't a 100% success, but it was a lot better um, than my normal days. And I'm just going to take this one day at a time and I'm going to be as real with myself as I can be. Because if I start being delusional or trying to like do something just because I know I'm going to have to tell you, um, I don't want to set myself up for failure, basically. So day two is tomorrow and I am excited to see what happens um, because I think I really understand now what I have to keep myself away from and what I can um, that I need to be prepared um, just in case I do get hungry that I have what I need available so that I'm not looking for the first thing that I can put in my mouth which is what I typically do um, so we should see how it works I, I oh so here's the downer um, I didn't load as much as I wanted to, so I just thought, like, that I was going to be super, super hungry. But the good part, the downside of that was, is that um, what I've been reading from other blogs of people that do it, that, like, day two and three could be a little bit t harder for me. So that's all the more reason why I just want to make sure I'm prepared and ready. Um, so I'm going to end tonight with, I, I already had my last meal at 7 o'clock. Um, and then I plan on taking my night light about 10, which they say they wanted about three hours after you ate. So I'm going to see how that works. And then I'll report back tomorrow. Hopefully there's a, a decent sized loss. Um, I mean, and if there isn't, I understand because I did, I did earn a little bit of a, a mess up, but I, I hope that I don't gain because that would make me mad if I could have just done a whole nother loading day and I didn't based on those two little mistakes that I made. 
Um, and that's, t I, I battled with that. I thought, like, Candace, just go ahead and throw this as a third loading day and just eat crazy today. But then I was like, you know what? No, because a mistake is a mistake, but I can't turn that mistake into having it be now a new pattern or a new habit. I'm trying to break that. And I know that it's going to take time to break it, and it's one baby step at a time. So that was the baby step. I am back on track. Hopefully tomorrow I can do it with no slip-ups. If I do, I will just have to fix it when I can fix it because I can't stress it because that stress is what makes me just say, F it all together, bring on the pasta. And you know, I will tell you this. When you're not eating what you normally eat, of course, it's everywhere. Those daggone commercials, especially that daggone Olive Garden with their three, the three-course meal for twelve ninety five. Like, who... Why, why today did I have to see that commercial? Like, you could have went the last two days and played it over and over again. I didn't see that commercial one time. And then today, it seemed like all day long, that's what they want to talk about is Olive Garden's three-course meal for $12.95. Don't do that to me. Leave me alone. So I know now when I'm... If I do get hungry, you, I just need to put something in my mouth that's on my list. And I really, when I, like, I am a Food Network fanatic. Like, I love cooking. I love food. I love watching other people cook and all the stuff, the creative ideas. And so my typical routine is Saturday morning, you flip to Food Network, see what's going on, see how Paula Dean's doing, check everybody out. <sighs> I couldn't this morning. I had to change the channel. Because she was making some kind of stuffed French toast. Really, Paula? Really? Really? Mind your business. Like, you know good and well you could have done that any other day. I mean, and the, the, the problem is, is that I was running out of ideas of things to eat on loading. Because, like I said, when you're already doing it, or when you do it so often, and now they're saying, yeah, go ahead. It, th it takes out the joy. It's like, I can't think. Now that you're telling me I have a free pass, but then as soon as I can, there's every flipping commercial in the book that's got something yummy in it. So that's my own issue that I got to deal with. But that's why I'm trying not to beat myself up of ha over having one or two little slip ups in my day. I'm hoping that I can get on track, stick to my regimen. And that's why if you guys share the video, please do because when I see the number of subscribers, I know that those people are watching. And so for some reason in my mind, it's like, I want to do good, not just for them, but for myself. But because I know they're there, it helps me like, all right, you might have a few more tomorrow and you need to make sure you have good things to tell them. So I'm trying to keep that. So if you can share it, please do. Um, we'll see how it goes. But in the ones that have shared and commented and given suggestions, I really, really appreciate it um, because they are helpful and it does keep me motivated and also just let you know like someone's out there, they got your back, they're, they're checking in on you. So I appreciate that and I really want to say thank you. So continue and we'll see. This is only day one, so we've got 45 to go. Let's see how it goes. All right guys, happy rest of the Saturday and I will be back at you later on tomorrow. Have a good day.